So we want to design an MRI contrast agent that can do three different things. First, we want it to be less toxic than the traditional um, MRI contrast agent. So now contrast agents are made with the transition metal gadolinium, which is a known neuro and nephrotoxin. And we want to make a contrast agent with iron, which we know is safe to use. We want them to act as a molecular thermometer, really. So we don't want to be able to see any contrast until the tissue reaches a specific temperature which is useful in thermal ablation therapy for cancer treatments or something which is essentially like shooting a laser beam at a tumor until the tissue starts to necrose so we want the contrast agent to turn on when that tissue gets to that therapeutic temperature when it starts to become necrotic and die and then we also want them to be targeted so we want to attach them to peptides that we know have known um, cell specific binders so the contrast would go directly to our areas of interest. One of the deciding factors for coming to SU was the research here. So with the smaller university and smaller class sizes, it helps with expanding relationships. And then also with the research, you have better opportunities to have one-on-one -on -one research, or in my case, like one-on-two -on -two research instead of a bigger university you have. 15, 20 people doing summer research with one teacher and you have, basically you're in another class and it's just, you don't have that connection. Whereas here you have that small connection. Working with a team over the summer as opposed to individual projects can be really great because, so for example, Marissa has been working in my lab over several semesters. So she already has a tremendous amount of technique and knowledge and experience working in the lab, which she is able now able to pass on that as kind of like a mentor to Kyle in our, in our research lab, where it's not just me, but it's also another student who may potentially see things from a different perspective. And then in addition, it just allows us to be uh, much more rapid. It allows the students to focus exclusively on their research as opposed to additionally focusing on their studies during their normal semester, right? So we're working essentially like 40 hours a week in the lab and we're making so much progress towards these goals that during a normal semester we wouldn't be able to.